Welcome parents, teachers and students to Online Assembly Week 4 Term 1 2022. Could you please stand for the National Anthem? <laughs> Reporters are on the ground to bring you nightly news straight to your door. So tune in to One Day Na Nightly News. Welcome to the Channel One One Day Na Primary School Nightly News with Summer Smith, Declan McNaught, and Kiara O'Leary. Good morning, viewers. We commence today's edition with some breaking news from One Day Na Primary School in the small rural town of Jelton. Reporter Sophia Henderson and Reid Selvanava are on the ground live. Good morning team and welcome to our viewers. Students at Wadena Primary School have reported witnessing one of their favourite students turn into a banana overnight. Students say that Mr William Chapel reportedly walked through the front door into the office and through the school grounds believing he was a banana. We are here today to interview Mr Chapel who seems to believe he is indeed a fully fledged banana. So, Mr. Chapel, what's going on here? You claim to be a banana, but I saw the thing that this is just a hoax. No, seriously. Hold on, guys. I'm indeed a banana. Can't you see? I'm yellow and long. I mean, I didn't mean to be a banana, but now that I am, I'm loud and proud. So, Will, when did you first realise you were a banana? Well, one day, I just woke up and here I am. And how long do you think you'll continue being a banana? Well, it's a privilege to represent all of the varieties of fruit out there. So I hope to be a banana for as long as possible. I honestly believe being a banana suits me. Now, team, during the process of this interview, some more disturbing news has come to light. There seems to be a strange phenomenon happening as we speak. I have just personally witnessed a boat you can imagine from the boys' toilet and walk through. Camera crew, are you seeing this? Yes, Reed, yes. 
We are recording live as we speak now. This is unbelievable. He's disappeared. Hmm? What on earth was that? Did I just see a baby running on the pavement? Isn't that a breach of our school rules? I don't understand, not at all. One minute he was a year six and now he's a baby. I can't believe it. Well, as you can see, the internet's appeared and disappeared. We'll, but we will continue to investigate the strange occurrence. In other news, the students at Wondina Primary School have been excelling in a TikTok dance. We would like to welcome Chloe, Riley and Olivia to do an amazing performance to the song Renegade. We invite any viewers to please join in or sing along. Well, that was truly a masterpiece performance. Congratulations, ladies. During this performance, we have obtained an exclusive interview with a student named Nathan Grant, who suddenly turned into an infant named Baby Nate. Welcome, Baby Nate. How are you today? Bye, bye, bye. Oh, can you speak? Hey, Mama. Oh, I'm not your mama. Hey, my dad, you're cuddly hobbies. Oh, no, I was coming to you, not your dad. <laughs> and welcome to our very first virtual assembly for 2022. We've had a fantastic start to the year, really smooth transition from the holidays back into school for all of our students. And we'd like to say a really big welcome to our new families and staff. And it's fantastic to have you here as part of our Wandina family. Very shortly, we'll be sending home what's called a home learning plan to all of our families. This will be sent out via SMS outreach to give you an idea of the different scenarios that may occur um, in our school based on you know, if we have a case of COVID within the school. So you'll be able to be aware of the different processes and procedures that we'll have in place, how we're actually going to move to online learning if needed or work packages if needed. We'll be using Seesaw and Webex as we did in 2022 and sending out home learning packages where needed also. So the document will outline all of that information. It'll be available on our website also. You'll find it on our website under parent information, COVID planning, um, and it's titled Home Learning Plan Parent Information 2022. So let's all just work together, support each other in this time and um, please contact the school if you've got any further questions. We're more than happy to help. In the last week or so, our Year 6 students have been writing up their persuasive speeches as to why they should be a student rep or a faction captain. And they've done an amazing job, a really high quality of speeches from our Year 6s this year. What's really important to remember is every one of our Year 6 students is a leader. And there are a number of students who will be given an additional responsibility of being a student rep or a faction captain as voted by their peers and the staff. So a big congratulations to these people for 2022 who are going to be our student reps. So firstly, we have Cooper Wright, Will Puzar, Indy Dunk, Kiara O'Leary, Lily Henderson and Sydney Chant. So a big congratulations to those Year Sixes who are our student representatives for 2022. 
Moving on to our faction captains. In one ditto, we have Addison Van Teel and Lincoln Shiasarski, congratulations. In Nullenberry, Ava Halden and Elizabeth Graham. In Sitkira, congratulations to Sophia Henderson and Machida Doley. And in Pallida, Oscar Wright and Maxine Dan are the faction captains for 2022. So a big congratulations to all of those students. A big thank you to our Year 6 teachers for working with our students to help them develop their speeches and give them the opportunity to be leaders. So thank you so much. And as we move forward, um, I look forward to chatting with parents. Please call if you've got any further concerns and questions and we will see you at our next assembly. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mrs Miller. We'll now announce the award winners. Good morning, everyone. We're going to do the merit certificates for their pre-primaries to year twos. So please listen for your name. From Miss Fletcherton's class, we have Harley McDonald. We also have Otis Rowland. In Miss Todd's class, we have Amy O'Donnell and Madden Layla. In Miss Dring and Mrs. Causes class, we have Mason Baker and Evie McNaught. In Miss Starling's class, we have Holly Wilson and Benjamin Vigil. In Miss Pearson's class, we have Mia Sutton and Flynn Martin. In Miss Treadgold's class, we have Tessa Maslin and Hamish Sprott. In Miss Goodfold's class, we have Hayley Levitt and Rylan Crudelli. In Mrs. Craig's class, we have Alif Hardy and Desley Wally. In Mrs. Malchus and Miss Lawson's class, we have Jada O'Sullivan and Ethan George. Congratulations to all those people and you will get yep. your certificate. All right, our year three certificates from Miss Lee's room. The first one is to Joshua Dacus Grace. Peyton Wilson from Miss Lee's class. From Miss Maida's class, we've got Leo McNaught. Next up is Lila Wright. Miss Cause Room, we've got Isaac Damien. And Parker Taylor. From Miss McCauley's room, we have Kaya Gabby. And Arashan Johannathan. Miss Rumble's classroom, we have Macy Mumford. And James Sweetman. Mr. McKenzie's room, we have Amelia Alvarez. And Cam. Proposh. Miss Walsh's class. Congratulations, Autumn Quartermain. Oscar Ringwood. Mr. Pierce's classroom. Congratulations, Sydney Chant. Max Rumble. Miss Whittle's class. Kiara. Kiara O'Leary. Riley Horsham. And moving on to Miss Gully's class, we have Shashrika Pradaban. Ava Halden. Ryan King. Congratulations, winners. Well done. Thank you, and congratulations to all of our award winners. We now turn to scientist Mrs. Graham, who has cracked the code and can explain why the students of Fontaine Primary School are undergoing ghastly transformation. Thank you for having me. Yes, our team of scientists have analysed the water from the bubbler outside the block room and found particles of imaginary juice, which when consumed directly affects the physical and cognitive ability to anyone who consumes it. We are very concerned about the impact and engaged environmental engineer who has resolved the issue. We welcome Thor Brown to the studio. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know everything is cool. It's all sorted. You can drink water again. You should drink at least two litres a day or more. Or if it is hot, 
or you're doing lots of exercise. Well, on the behalf of Channel 1 Wondina Nightly News, we wish you a very good night.